What is up, Top Shot Nation? Super excited about this one. We are making history today. The first packs curated by an NBA player, and not just any NBA player, arguably the greatest player in the world right now, Kevin Durant, curating moments. And these will be part of the first, what we're calling blended packs. Packs that contain commons, rares, and legendaries. More specifically, the chance at commons, rares, and legendaries in every one of these packs. We're looking at these packs to be the standard in the month of February. A lot of really exciting things to look forward to. Of course, the standard packs going to be priced at $19 a pop. The elite packs, each containing a guaranteed LE moment from either the game recognized game set, the MGLE set, or the hollow icon set, each costing $49. Uh, these are going to fundamentally change the experience of ripping packs on Top Shot. You can come in to Top Shot and open a pack and potentially pull a moment that will change your life. So very excited about this um, and joined as always by my right hand man, Austin, how's it going? It's going great. I'm so excited to talk about this for, for the reasons that you mentioned. This is just a truly unprecedented drop. Uh, I'm I'm very just eager to see like how this all plays out. The fact that these these moments, whether they're being rare or legendary, they're available to everyone, and that's part of the fun, and that's part of what got us into collecting in the first place. So a total game changer for us, and just a chance to share some of our favorite plays just completely across the board. Now, Austin, you've been at Dapper Labs for just about a year at this point, and I'd say 95 percent, 96 percent of the moments that have hit Top Shot to date have been from yourself, hand curating, identifying. Well, not today. Some of these moments that we're breaking down will be the first created, editorialized by someone that isn't Austin Kent. And uh, what better uh, co-curator of the Top Shot collection than Kevin Durant himself? Yeah, definitely. One of the most fascinating basketball minds, you know, happy to have him uh, weigh in on this process and excited with what he's picked. Now, of course, uh, a special surprise for our community. Each of these game recognized game moments will come with a special narration from KD himself, the Slim Reaper, uh, breaking down the players and the plays involved in these moments. And uh, leave it to KD to pick some superstars in this set. Without further ado, let's get started with the 2020 first overall pick in the draft. We got Anthony Edwards, one of the most explosive leapers in the league. What do you see here? You know, Anthony Edwards uh, just has shown he's capable of taking his game to a whole new level in the second year. He's more than just a dunker, although he's still a pretty darn good dunker at that. Uh, we've seen him sort of just really um, introduce himself as a dangerous shooter, as a dangerous scorer across multiple levels. Uh, but one of the funnest things about Ann Edwards is when he kind of rises up and throws down the posters we all know and love. I personally think the most fun thing about Anthony Edwards is the, the press conferences, but the rising up and throwing it down is also quite fun. Uh, moving ahead, another explosive leaper, another superstar. We've got Donovan Mitchell, and here we see him hitting a huge three-pointer with a killer crossover. Yeah, he's such a tough uh, scorer to check. You know, he's done it for so long now that I think we kind of uh, take it for granted a little bit. But Donovan Mitchell is truly such a fun leader on such a fun team there in Utah. Uh, 26 points in this one. It's just another day at the office. The reigning MVP, Nikola Jokic, uh, arguably the best passer in the league, but slowly but surely has also elevated his game to being one of the best shooters in the league. And here we see him with the buzzer beater. Yeah, you love you love seeing Jokic be able to basically do anything, whether it's find the open man, put the ball on the floor, you know, post up, or just pull up from deep to beat the buzzer. Uh, I love to see Jokic just add these different elements to his game. Uh, moving ahead from the reigning MVP in Nikola Jokic to a guy that is getting a lot of attention as a future potential MVP, we've got Devin Booker, um, and here we see Book doing what he does best, which is just putting the ball in the cup. Yeah, one of the slickest scorers in the NBA. Uh, right back at it after just an amazing year for the Phoenix Suns last year. The Suns are for real, and Devin Booker's a big part of that. Next up, Ja Morant. Uh, if not the most athletic player in the NBA, certainly in the conversation, and he is having quite a year. Here we see him doing a little bit of everything. 
Yeah. How do you even, how do you even check Morant? If like, no, it is, nobody's going to keep up with him in the air, but even on the floor, he's just got that mobility and that surprising length to just bamboozle def- like defenders. And it, here he does that, you know, perfectly. And from John Morant, who is on his way to being the best point guard in the NBA one day to the guy that I think has the title right now, Steph Curry, of course, Kevin Durant's former teammate, the best shooter in NBA history. And here we see Steph Curry rocking the handles like he does so well. Yeah, truly one of the most exhausting players to even imagine defending. There, there's no staying in front of Steph, whether he's on the ball or off the ball. In this case, shows off the nice handles and just gets right to the cup with ease. And that's on Davion Mitchell off night. Uh, he does. No one, no one makes Davion Mitchell look like an overmatched defender, but Steph Curry might be the only guy that has the skill set to do so. Last but not least, we've got the reward from the game recognized game set, and that is a moment from his truly Kevin Durant doing what he does best, taking his defender off the dribble and finishing at the hoop. Yeah, Durant is just such an incredible scorer. We're so lucky to be able to watch him and to have been able to watch him, you know, for the past 10 plus years. Uh, there's just no stopping him. There's no stopping him that length. There's no, once he, he figures out how he's going to get to his spot, he's just going to get there. Uh, and once he pulls up, there's just, there's just no way he can touch that. And there you have it, folks. The seven moments going in the game recognized game set curated by Kevin Durant. Uh, these are star studded. I don't know if we've ever had a set with quite as much star power from start to finish. I'm very excited about these. Now, of course, if you're getting a standard pack, you're going to have a chance at one of these. If you're getting an elite pack, you have a 90 or so percent chance of landing one of these. So very excited for you all. Next up, we're going to break down all of the other new moments coming to Top Shot and can be found in these packs. We're going to start with the base set moments coming and no better place to start than with your fellow countrymen, Austin. We've got Brandon Clark. The uh, the uh, Canadian bias is strong at Dapper. We, we love to, to see the Canadians turn out in the NBA. Brandon Clark is just a great example of that. Such a fun player on such a fun team. Here you get some big to big action. He just throws down a lob as uh, as only Brandon Clark can. Yeah, one of the most explosive leapers in the league. Just a, a embarrassment of riches in that Memphis front court. So many good athletes, so many good long term NBA players, and Brandon Clark certainly fills out their rotation when he and Jaron Jackson are playing alongside each other. They are hard to stop on both ends. Moving ahead, we've got Evan Fournier from my New York Knicks. Uh, Fournier certainly uh, has had some games this season where he's lit up the box score, uh, namely against his former team, the Boston Celtics. Here we see him go for 42. Yeah, 10 threes in this one. Evan Fournier has shown these glimpses over the course of his career. You know, anybody who's watched them dating back to his like Orlando Magic days knows he can he can put the ball in the net. But there's just something different about doing it at the Garden uh, with the whole world watching. Uh, and Fournier, he's a big competitor. It's, it's fun to see him sort of bring that out against his former team. Next up, we're going to Washington with Contavious Caldwell-Pope, uh, NBA champion Contavious Caldwell-Pope. What do you see here? Yeah, I just love the jump ball moans, you know? It's fun to get the jump balls into action. And here, this is a clutch three late in the game uh, against Utah. And KCP, who's been there before, he just kind of collects the rock and then puts in a late game dagger. Next up, we're going to Minnesota. We've got Pat Beverly with a season high 12 assists. He's done a nice job of kind of providing some veteran leadership for a Minnesota team that I think is surprising some. Yeah, it's it's always fun when you see kind of uh, time-tested vets get plugged into young teams and I think the Minnesota Timberwolves still qualify as, as, you know, such a young team. And for Bev to sort of slot in there um, obviously brings just the presence in the locker room and on defense. But it's nice to see him develop as a playmaker as well. Moving ahead, we've got a block from Miles Bridges. Certainly every night he has a top shotable dunk, but here we see him doing it on the defensive end. Yeah, definitely. Uh, everybody like on the planet knows Miles Bridges is just an incredible dunker, but there's so much more to his, his game this year. And he's truly like a, a candidate, you know, in the most improved player conversation. Uh, but to be able to kind of show him on the defensive end in this sequence, especially where he's blocking uh, Mikhail Bridges, of all people, that Bridges on Bridges battle is always fun to see. Moving ahead, we've got one of the OG investors in NBA Top Shot, Spencer Dinwiddie. 
doing it for the Washington Wizards. I love this. Just effortless half court lob. You know, he basically puts the ball in the net. Daniel Gafford didn't have to work too hard for this one. Credit to uh, Dinwiddie's vision on this uh, this long game. Yeah, and these Wizards jerseys are some of my favorite in the league. Not a huge fan of the generic Wizards jerseys, but these alternates are really hitting the spot. Next up, we've got Anthony Edwards. This time, his base set common, uh, numbered to just under 10,000. Here we see him showing off the creativity. Yeah, another another player who you kind of associate with his you know mesmerizing dunks for good reason, but he's just he's just doing it all and. Uh, T- the tendency happens to be that those players who are most creative in the air, you know, for dunks are usually pretty darn good at those uh, layups as well. Vince Carter had some, you know, very memorable layups that you don't even think about because of his reputation as a dunker. And Edwards might be in a, a similar boat here, but it's fun to be able to get a layup out on the platform. Moving ahead. Uh, this moment near and dear to my heart. We've got Quentin Grimes at a game I was actually at. Uh, heat check from Quentin Grimes, 27 points. First round pick from the Knicks. Um, and he's looking like a three and D keeper for them long term. Yeah, you love to see it. It's not easy to break into uh, Tom Thibodeau uh, rotation as a rookie, but Quentin Grimes has been slowly putting in the work to do so. Last but not least, out of the base set, we've got a top shot debut 4K moment from Omer Yurt7, who has been a quiet star out of the interior for Miami this year. Yeah, the Miami Heat franchise is just one of the best at just slowly developing and, and churning out players that really scrape the ceiling of, of, you know, maybe what their early projections were. And your seven is another example of that. It's fun to see him really show up as a, a nightly double-double threat for this team. Uh, they've been shorthanded at times. Uh, so Omer Yurt 7 is getting a lot of love in his rookie season, and it's fun to get him finally in the top shot. going to be breaking down all of the new metallic gold le moments coming to top shot this week um, and these are going to be hits in these packs so if you're pulling a pack you could be at a standard pack be it an elite pack you'll have a chance at one of these rares and no better place to start than with the face of game recognized game the best player in the nba kevin durant yeah, Kevin Durant, when he's on one, no one on the planet can can even bother to stop him. 51 points from him in this one, that's a season high. And you just see how easily he just slices through defenders, and he's got the body control to really sink anything around the net. Moving ahead, we've got Trey Mann, who has been an unbelievable find for OKC. They, keep, they seemingly just keep on finding and hitting on these young guys, and here we see him with a nice poster. Yes, Trey Mann has emerged as just one of the the best sort of nightly highlight reels in the NBA. Uh, just a young player, you know, earning his time on a very young Thunder team. Uh, he's gone viral a couple times for good reason. Look at the hops on this one. I'm just amazed. Next up, we've got Eric Gordon. Eric Gordon with a redemption season uh, still in Houston. People had forgotten about him. He is turning back the clock to the days when uh, he was better known as Air Gordon uh, at Indiana. I love I love Eric Gordon. He's just been slowly, you know, doing his job for years now. And uh, he's certainly one of the names that's kind of come up as a popular potential trade option ahead of the deadline. But for now, he's a vet doing work for a young Rockets team. And sometimes that work includes getting to the bucket for a game-winning layup, which this one is. Moving ahead, we are going to Denver, where we've got Monte Morris, who has been one of the best uh, backup point guards in the league for a long time. And obviously, with Denver's injury woes this year, he has expanded his role and thrived in it. 
Definitely. Uh, we've seen Morris really, this, there's so much depth on this Nuggets team. It's one of the things that makes them so scary um, as a rule. This year, of course, they're very shorthanded because of injuries and, and it's forced players like Morris to really kind of step up. Uh, he's as consistent as it gets, uh, but we love this play, you know, uh, slipping it through the defender's legs. Uh, you love to see a play like that. We're staying in Denver for Will the Thrill Barden, one of my favorite players in the league. Always fun to watch. Sneaky good athleticism. Here we see him flashing it on the defensive end. Yeah, and this was a game clincher for them. I love to see the that visceral reaction as he as he, he sort of chases down Anthony Edwards for that um, for that game clinching block, basically. Then he recovers it and launches it into the rafters for the celebration. So we got a game winning block from Barden. Well, how about a game with five blocks from Robert Williams? Time Lord doing his job on the interior for Boston. What do you see here? Yeah, uh, Time Lord is just one of the most fun players to watch, whether he's, you know, just throwing down dunks on people, catching lobs or blocking shots. Whatever it is, you know you're going to enjoy it. I mean, you got Time Lord protecting the rim like that and kind of controlling the ball off of a monster block. It's always a bonus. Next up, we're going back to the well of Donovan Mitchell. Spida in this one goes for 30 points, and here we see him throwing it down. Yeah, I love this one. And the dunk, I love, but the part that sets it uh, apart for me is the steal, particularly how he sort of navigates around the screen to um, to steal the pass, to, to uh, cut it off like that. It's fun to see defenders just watching the play as it unfolds in their head. Uh, and he, of course, gets the, the breakaway there and, and shows up. How about DeAnthony Melton having a year with the Memphis Grizzlies? Definitely. Uh, Melton is just one of the many cogs in what is a fascinating machine in Memphis. Here he gets up and throws down a little poster. It's always fun to see. Uh, fun fact, this dunk came in uh, Memphis's 73-point win over the Oklahoma City Thunder. Now, last but not least, this one's going to be a reward out of the MGLE set. We've got James Harden uh, putting together a 16 assist night at his age. What makes him so unstoppable, Austin? You know, James Harden has never been the most athletic player in the NBA, but I honestly think he's one of the smartest offensive players really that we've ever seen. He has just mastered the angles and the geometry of basketball. Um, he just knows exactly how to get defenders where he wants them and when the best opportunities are to strike. Here with a nice little through the legs dime, but they don't even always have to look that nice. Harden's been doing work for a while now, and I think we maybe take it a little bit for granted. Absolutely. Um, and there you have it. Those are all of the MGLEs. Of course, the Harden will be a challenge reward. Everything else will be accessible and available in the standard and elite packs. But these packs would not be the granddaddy experiment of them all if we didn't have these hollow icons coming in them. And we've got some epic hollow icons. Uh, a reminder for the community, those who are unfamiliar with the hollow icon set, 90 players total. We're picking the three most important players on every team and we're bringing them into this set. So these are the best of the best players from around the league three per team. And we're going to start with Reggie Jackson, who has had a renaissance for his career in LA with the Clippers. Yeah, Reggie Jackson has truly stepped up for this team. We got a taste of it in the playoffs last year, but especially this year, the Clippers, of course, they don't have Kawhi Leonard. He's he's likely out for the whole season. Uh, and Reggie Jackson working, you know, along with Paul George, is just hasn't backed down. The Clippers remain a competitive team and a big part of that is Reggie Jackson, you know, he can kind of do it all. He'll, he'll hurt you from outside, but it's always fun to see him sort of break through the paint and get a little poster, which he has a tendency to do as well. Moving along, we've got Miles Bridges, arguably the best dunker in the NBA. And here we see him doing what he does best. Yeah. Miles Bridges can, can impress us with his creativity and athleticism, but in this one, it's just pure, like pure fearlessness to, to not only go up for an alley-oop, but to be able to finish it with Giannis Antetokounmpo uh, ready there to, to stuff the ball in your face is just truly impressive. Uh, Miles Bridges finds new ways to sort of raise the bar uh, as far as Duncan goes in the NBA. Next up, we've got the reigning MVP, Nikola Jokic with his hollow icon, the game-winning assist. This is what he does best. He sees the game like no other, and I love... 
there's just this play is just so representative of where the game is today. You've got a center camped out, you know, 25, 30 feet from the basket, uh, double teamed, and still finds this, you know, like pinpoint accurate cross court pass for a game winning three pointer from Aaron Gordon. Uh, you love to see Jokic uh, just really not only just establish himself as the one of the best passing big men we've ever seen, but really just raise that bar through the roof. He's just a blast to watch. Yeah, I remember you tweeted about this as it was happening with the screenshot of the double team and the fact that he found Gordon in the corner. Kudos to Aaron Gordon as well, another OG top shot investor, hitting the game winner over there. Um, moving ahead, we've got one of my favorite players in the league, Lugans Dort, who has really established himself not just as the best defender in Oklahoma City, but also an up and comer on the offensive end and the athleticism and timing like this shows why. Yeah. Just such a powerful human being. Uh, you don't want to get in the way of uh, Lugi Dort, especially whether, uh, whether you're the offensive player, or in this case, the defender trying to keep him away from the basket. If he gets, uh, if he gets that downhill speed on you and he's uh, leaping through the air for a putback, uh, you just don't even want to be in the way there. So it's fun to see that come. The season I 34 points in this one for him as well. We're getting a little bit of fire and ice, right? I, I like in Lugans Dort to the fire and SGA to the ice. We see on this replay right here, SGA, the casual, just hand up like the threes going in, but no, Lugans Dort doing the dirty work to clean it up. Um, there you have it. Moving ahead to the last moment available in these packs from the hollow icon set, we got Fred Van Vliet, who is putting together an all star campaign in Toronto for a team that is turning heads and getting a fan base very excited about the future. Yeah, Fred Van Vliet has done just such a great job of kind of helping Raptors fans get over the, the loss of Kyle Lowry. Lowry has obviously moved on to the Miami Heat, and Van Vliet's like, I got this. You know, it's fun It's fun to see him really step up uh, on and off the court just as a leader uh, in this game. It's a 37-point triple-double for him. And to get it done on both ends like that, uh, where he kind of pokes the ball away, credited with a block on this one, not a steal. Uh, but then to take it the, the whole way himself. Well, there you have it for all the moments in the drop, but it would not be a, a rollout of new hollow icons if we didn't have an epic, epic challenge reward ahead of us. And this one from the number two overall pick in the draft, rising star, teenager, high flyer, phenom, everything in between. We got Jalen Green, the pride of the Philippines. What do you see here? Just a, a fascinating young player doing what he does, finally under an NBA spotlight. Uh, Jalen Green has been a celebrity since he was in high school uh, and drafted into a tough situation. You're not going to turn that situation in Houston around uh, overnight. But in this, just the second game in the NBA, it was a, a big win for the Houston Rockets. And if you can drop your defender and get an easy bucket in, uh, in game number two for you, that's a sign of good things to come. We've seen fascinating layups, fascinating dogs, and fascinating handles from him all year long. And I'm just excited to see him and the Rockets really kind of take their game to the next level. There you have it, folks. We broke down 31 new moments coming to Top Shot across four different sets. These packs are going to change the game. We are very excited to share them all with you from Kevin Durant narrating and curating a set to the opportunity to come to Top Shot, get yourself a standard pack for under 20 bucks with a chance of pulling a rare or a legendary moment. Top Shot just got a whole lot more interesting on an already very, very interesting product. Uh, Austin, any closing remarks? I'm just so happy to be able to explore this new um, this new type of pack distribution. It's just fascinating to me. It's, it's satisfying for me to know that all of a sudden, these plays that we, that so much you know attention and, and thought goes into uh, which which plays qualify as common, which qualify as rare, which qualify as legendary, because we truly want the legendary plays to feel legendary, um, but to also be able to you know make sure that every person who wants to buy a pack has a chance at these. That's just so important to us because uh, uh, we really want everybody to at least have a chance at some of the most epic moments in in, uh, in basketball. Well, again, on behalf of Austin and myself, thank you for tuning in. Very excited to share these moments with you. And until next time, happy collecting.